Hi everybody, this is Barney, the Romanian sheepdog. He's a little bit nervy, so we're taking things easy with him. This is the first time I've had a proper interaction with him. He's in the kennels and rightfully so, he's feeling a little bit hesitant. As you notice, I've been now hanging around inside the doorway for about the last 10 minutes or so. He's still crouched up, but he's not to say hello. He's just wondering what I'm doing. When I first go in with dogs, I don't like to talk to them. I find that talking to them can distract them and give the wrong signal, so I just generally just switch around a little bit if the dog comes over. We're now on sort of 15 minutes or so, and Barney's not decided to come over and say hello. He's not decided to try and get him to engage in with me with some food. I put the lead on the floor, just to the aim of it to get the lead clipped off from his collar. And I'm going to start to move. Just to see if we can get him to move forward. My personal approach is I never go, I give the dog an imaginary circle around it of about four feet in diameter. And I never enter that. I always get the dog to come out of that and come to me. That way, if it's coming towards me, if it's all the cord, it's much less likely to be nervous or react in a bad way. We're just going to give him a good reason to get to his feet. You notice as soon as I moved my hand back or went for more food, he moved away, step back. That's what I'm trying to get into the point. Step forward again with the food. Don't just become interested in the food. Instead of feeding him and just generally getting to engage with him. But another further ten minutes. He's been taken away from me, his owners, he's sat in a strange place. Dog's barking all around him, strange people. He's a little bit in the back, so we don't want to upset him. He's just a nice, steady, slow. I've picked his, his lead up, and you notice as soon as I click it, a little bit unsure, although I'm used to this. As soon as I do it, the situation he's in, he steps back straight away. Again, he's still not 100% trusting me. A little bit uh, less enthusiastic about the food now. One, we've been giving him food for over the, about the last. 25 minutes or so to have the lead in hand and he's a little bit unsure with that. Drop the lead and he comes straight back in. The little things like this make a big difference to the dog. They may seem insignificant to you, but they're not for him. Very rarely, more concentrated on the ground, on the food, on the hands. This way I'm not under any pressure. Still back away, straight away. Still a little bit nervous. One of the dogs next to it just popped its head over the wall to have a look. Just 
Yes, everything's about getting him to come out, out of his circle, out of the corner, rather than backing him into it, and me approaching him, him having nowhere to go. He feels uncomfortable, he's still got a couple of feet, he can back up, make himself feel more secure again. Although the camera angle doesn't quite show it, there's about at least an arm's length from me to Barney and then from Barney into the corner, nearly another arm's length sort of. It, it gives him enough space to back away if he really feels like it. Noticed he's not too keen at coming forward for the food. That's a bit off, quite a bit off. about coming out that corner, so I'm going to try a different approach. He's obviously not happy about me putting the collar, clicking it, putting it under his chin. I'm going to turn the, turn the lead, let him have a good smell of it, and then try and approach from a different angle, try and get this lead on him. Been in there now well over half an hour. Of course, on 45 minutes maybe.
got him outside. He's refocusing back on the food. Not quite so unhappy about having the lead on him anymore. Any second now, there's a horse comes in from the left hand side. And if you watch Barney, he doesn't take a right lot notice of it. Putting the food on the floor in close quarters to me just me doing a little test, will he put his head down onto the floor while I'm crouching more or less over the top of him? That tells me whether he trusts me or not. I just put the food on the floor and the jug just refuses to drop its head and go and get it because it wants to keep its eye on you. Barney quite happily drops his head. He's obviously relaxed, he's not bothered about the horse, he's having a bit of a scratch. He's generally enjoying being out of the kennel, I would imagine. Well, we even got a little bit of a tail wag. We're just going to test him with toys. We know we can re get him reasonably interested in food. We just want to see what he's going to do with toys. Drop a ball near him. See if he's interested. Brought him back up to the top of the field. Just placed his lead over his back. He's now just wandering around on his own. Obviously, he can't go anywhere, we're fully enclosed. He jumps out of that one, he goes into another one with another fence. So he's going to jump a lot of fences before he goes anywhere. No interest whatsoever in the ball. <coughs> try a little bit of food yep. again. Honey. Now, roughly an hour and a half. 